Stand by. A little bit of history might be made. And Drew, the most impressive thing for me about the Boomers is not the fact they're up two points. It was the fact they were able to stifle the momentum that USA had being up ten points. They turned that around and outscored this powerful team by ten themselves. 20 to 8 was the run in the last five minutes. They're looking to extend it. Unable to do so on that. This is Della Vadova off the Walker miss. 30 seconds done in the final term. Ingles, harassed by Middleton, who's playing with three fouls. Ingles, good use of the body and just helps himself to two Australia. He's one of the craftiest players you want to see at any level. Here he is, reads the defense, gets him on his back, and just a don't under term. Ingles picks up the dribble. Creek looks inside, one of Baines. Pass was battered and deflected, but it came to him now. And the big man's got it with five on the shot clock. He goes to work with a hook shot against Miles Turner. Australia scored 10 without reply and lead it by six. Oh, big play at the other end. They needed that team, USA. It was slipping away. And not much more Aaron Baines could have done. He made good position. The defense is trans transition off the main basket. Here we see Baines just takes his time. No help comes. So Baines with a left-hand hook. And down the other end, had to do his work. Just a little reaching got him caught. Just better off. Margin halved to a three-point edge for Australia. Almost two minutes played in the final term. So we head toward the 2019 FIBA World Cup in China a week away. The advantage of Barnes. This is where we need Andrew Bogut on the court as well. I think we have to find a way for Bogut and Baines as we see a big three. But this is where I think that Andre Lomanis has to find a way for Bogut and Baines to play together because they're our two best big men. Mills catch and shoot for the answering three. Australia back on top. Shot clock than he thought. There's still six seconds remaining. I think he thought the shot clock was coming down. And there's the foul on Andrew Bogut. He thinks the uh, looking for some divine intervention and that's what he adds to this boomers lineup have a look at this doesn't do a lot wrong you wouldn't have thought straight up no that's clean I think that's great defense as a rim protector gets inside finds brown working on deliver dover with four fouls offensive fouls being called off the ball mills went down chris reed the referee steps up miles turner was screaming there was a switch and patty mills was trying to guard him down low he's begging for it you can see him just throw it up anywhere around 11 feet i'll go get it and then maybe gets it back for ingles guarded by turner in a mismatch might like his chances here says i do it Joey stepping up exactly when the Boomers needed. Hasn't shot the ball well so far in this offseason. It just goes bang. Eagles, as you mentioned, Hammer, as smooth as silk. Just a little step back there. Yeah, gets his legs underneath him and knocks down the... Mills retreats away from Tatum. And they reset. They isolate for Mills and the triple. It's oh! The bank is open at Marvel Stadium in front of 52,000. The USA by 16 in game one, 102-86. The Boomers with the fans behind them. They go to Barnes and from close range. Boomers are going to beat the USA. Eagles wants. Goes to Delavadova. This is Bogan. Shot clock. Rolls to single numbers. Is Mills the man again? Mills, the two and all man. He rushes to the hurry, but it will count. Count the two. Patty Mills into the fans, and the fans are loving it back. What a cut, what a pass. The Boomers have doubled the amount of assists of Team USA. They've done it by committee. Unselfish basketball. And have a look at that. Patty Mills puts it on the glass. Too late. Count it. I love the emotion. He senses seven for Mills, including ten in this quarter. Donovan Mitchell needed that. The U bucket here will make it tough for him. Bogut protects the ball from Barnes. Delavadova looking for Mills, beckons him toward the ball from the elbow. Mills. Ball movement again, but a bigger shot. You don't play better D than that. Patty Mills 
too good. Donovan Mitchell draws Bogan out and calmly ices three. We've got a house. A worldwide audience as well. Is Australia about to bring down the USA? Mitchell, eight on the shot clock. Guarded by Mitch Creek. He elevates and it's short. But Tatum got after it. With a little bit more better ability to get out and cover the three-point line. They let it fly. And Nichols has got it. Australia on the edge of the most remarkable win. They need foul. And they do. Donovan Mitchell gets the foul. He's out of the game. Five on Mitchell. He sits down. We've got ten seconds. A three-point lead and free throws. And we got it into the hands of our superstar. Well, he's had some big moments, Paddy Mills. But right now, the way he feels about Australia, his love of his country. I don't know if he's been feeling it as much as he is right now. This is amazing, Casey. This really is amazing. What a statement from the Boomers. What a turnaround game. USA rush up the floor. They come up empty. Here it is, folks. This is Australian basketball history. For the first time ever, Australia brings down the number one team in the world, the USA, and they've done it by four points. It's 98-94 Australia. I see it, but I don't believe it. Well, I believe it, Casey. You've got to believe, and when you've got that man on your screen on your side, you're always going to be a champion.